Hey, uh, thanks everyone for coming out. My name is Greg Schwedock. I'm the co-founder and CTO of iChamp Sports. Um, and uh, I'm gonna talk about automatic, server-side, astronomer analytics. Try saying that five times fast. Um, okay, let's get started. So, little outline. We're gonna talk about what astronomer is. Gonna, the problem uh, I found is that client-side only and solution I made a package for. Okay, so um, raise your hand if you know what Astronomer is. Okay, I guess if you're using Astronomer in an app. Okay, crickets. <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost, not completely, not completely. Uh, so great, that's great. Uh, this be, should be useful then. So nowadays data is king, right? Uh, everyone wants to get as much data as possible so that we can make informed decisions and you can show investors hockey stick graphs, right? So Astronomer is a tool to simplify uh, analytics because there's a lot of solutions out there. There's Google Analytics, of course, there's Mixpanel, there's Keen.io, there's lots of them, it's a competitive space. So with Astronomer, you can send uh, your, all your analytics data to a single spot to them and then they distribute it out to the rest of them. So they're one hub to rule them all. They'll send them back to the rest. Okay, so that's a big advantage, so you don't have to invest. You're gonna do some code for each of those. You don't have to use separate code. You can just do their code, and then you don't have to change your code every time. And it's especially important here because we're gonna, it knows you're on Meteor. We're gonna focus on your users more because we're an application. It's just not, it's more than just page loads that matter. It's also associating that with users and getting that into mixed panels so you can track things by users. Okay, so Astronomer was founded uh, by Ryan Walker, who was also a founder of Differential, which is a development studio. So, surprise here, we got a lot of tight uh, Meteor integration. It's not just for Meteor, but with Meteor, you install their plugin, and right away, you're tracking logins, page loads, uh, method calls, and that might be everything you need to track. Uh, if not, you can still use their tracking function to track something else. So then the install is also trivial. Uh, you just put in your astronomer ID and, uh, and your settings, and then on astronomer.io, you hook up Mixpal, you hook up Google Analytics with whatever security you need there. So it's really a no-brainer. It's, it's kind of due diligence. It doesn't take any programming effort at all. Uh, the guys at OKGrow, OK led by Paul Downman, the great guys there, they all put into every project that they do. Okay. So, okay, that's awesome. I was super stoked to use Astronomer when I first heard about it because, and I still am, but I was extra stoked because I thought this might solve a problem I've always seen with, uh, with tracking, which is ad blockers will block the tracking. Uh, so, the, on a page fair in Adobe report, 16% of global users uh, in tw the second quarter of 2015 were using ad blockers. So, at least, so maybe 16% of users you're not tracking. And then, it doesn't take a rocket science to think about, well, okay, we're probably got a lot of tech savvy users and early adopters. Those numbers are probably gonna be even higher. Maybe we're looking at 50% or more of your meteor user adopters. So, Adblock Plus will, for example, block the trackers, we said. So, I was excited because with Astronomer, we've got a lot of meteor integration here. So maybe uh, it'll, do some of this tracking on the server where Adblock Plus can't get to, and we still track all these users. Okay, so how does, it, how does Astronomer work? Well, it packages all the scripts from Google Analytics and Mixpanel and Keen, puts them in one script, and then it loads, you load that uh, from their CDN, the Astronomer CDN, and it goes into, a, uh, head, into the head and into a script tag in your app. So Adblock Plus still blocks it. Doesn't fix anything here. Um, so that means you are potentially still completely blind to this huge uh, okay. <laughs> uh, percentage of users that you are not tracking, right? Uh, and you might not even be aware of it is the big point. Okay, um, uh, let's uh, go to the next thing. Oh, wait, so now you also, you're on the server, you might also be able to track errors, but we're not going to check that either because we're only doing it client side. So enter Space Monkey, save the day. Um, so now 
uh, install Astronomer the way you would now add Meteor add Space Monkey, Sway Dog Space Monkey, and we'll have all your automatics back. You're going to check your page, your, your uh, logins, and your method calls automatically on the server as well. Uh, currently, the default to do that is it's monkey patching meter.methods. If you don't want that to happen, you can use, uh, can change the settings, and then there's another function you can use to call the tracker function instead, and you have your methods be tracked on the server. Um, so now you also get server-side only benefits. So you can track your server errors with a try and catch that wouldn't otherwise be available, and we're going to track the on login and on login failure. So we're going to also know if the login failed. And not only that, we might know which login failed because we'll have access to the email, to your whole database, and we can look up the email. So that, that's not possible in Astronomer just bare. Okay, so what, can we st what is still to do? Uh, I'm currently not tracking page changes on the server, so the URL changes. Uh, there's a little more question of how you might want to do that, but it's not that crazy. Uh, looking for definitely more feedback if anyone uses it um, and uh, see if you like it. You know, definitely put up a uh, pull request and you know, uh, I basically just put up what I needed to do, did what I needed first, but you guys might find some more things you want. Uh, and thanks so much to Astronomer. They're really responsive to Brad, Greg, and Rye. Uh, and they made a great product. So astronomer.io is great. Use it, get your data, track. No more problem only being client side. Solution, meteor ad, Shway Dog, Space Monkey. Who knows, maybe if you guys really like it, we can talk to them and see if they should put it in their default package. Uh, so thank you. Uh, thanks to Adrian and Lynn. Uh, you guys are great for putting this all on. And uh, again, I'm Greg Schwedock, and I'm at iChamp Sports, and probably talked to you about this before, but we track physiological data for athletes, and it's kind of like e-health report for athletes. And uh, with the climate mobilization, volunteering there, check that out at gotcm.org slash Greg. We're always looking for developers who want to help uh, be active on climate change and take some action. Okay. Uh, thank you, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I hope to see you guys at the bar. I know uh, John is thirsty, so and yours brought. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah, the question is, what was the difference I found in my tracking? Uh, well, I had uh, I was seeing some people that I was not seeing before, so that's so like, was it like a large percentage like you assumed, or what? It, it was just like, I literally just made it this week, so I, I need to, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. All right, well, thank you, see you later.